All right, so we're back. I gotta get my keyboard set up to play this now. So when we last left off, we conquered uh, Uruguay, and everybody was pretty pissed about it. So we got Bolivia coming in here. We got uh, France, Britain, and the Netherlands. Well, maybe not the Netherlands. I don't think I'm at war with the Netherlands. Um, does not look like it. Venezuela? No, you're all right with us. We have one signal submarine going around out here. There's a naval map mode. Hey, we've been sinking convoys out here. Awesome. And I got to thinking. We're going to need more submarines and planes and things like that. Now, our submarines and planes aren't going to be very good. So I got to thinking. You know who generally probably is all right and doesn't hate us? I still do not understand Venezuela or Brazil, Brazilian, Christ, Portuguese, I suppose. Maybe? Hey, Mud and Ho. We're going to go over to Germany and, uh,. Buy a production license. Oh, hey, they got uh, Schwimmenpan. Schwimmen Corpers, which would presumably be a. Uh, oh, what the hell do you call them? Like a floating tank. So, first off, what I want out of Germany, let's get some German submarines or see if they'll let us get German submarines. Or the plans for German submarines. Uh, seaplane tender. A lot of bombers. Heavy bomber, medium bomber. Torpedo. God, I did turn... Okay, I did turn the mic on. Last stream I did, I didn't turn on the goddamn game audio. And let me tell you how that worked out. I, the only thing I see here is coastal submarines, which, I mean, they, there's no way Germany doesn't have submarines in 1943. Got a flying boat, flying bombs. I mean, they definitely went heavy into there. I guess let's start with some, uh, let's see, we need three, that'll give us two fight, let's go three fighter squadrons. My god, if they'll let us get away with this, agree to pay 407 for nine good interceptors? Let's try that. Italy isn't even in the goddamn Axis. What the hell is going on in Europe? Italy should have okay submarines. Let's uh, buy a production license. Submarine. Coastal. Light cruiser. Motor torpedo boat. There we go. Pony class. You know, let's try the same thing. Three and three. To be fair, we're not buying old stuff. We're buying the production rights. So they're giving us the blueprints and we're building it ourselves. But you are correct. Let's see if we can do it with three sub nine submarines from Italy. 
unpause, let some time roll. Germany's accepted production and Italy has accepted. Okay. I kind of want to get the motorized regiments going. But we also definitely need this stuff. So at full production, I don't know. Let's move these up to the very top and then we'll put them mechanized ahead of that. Okay. Now, I wanted to look one more time at Germany, because how the hell does Germany not have... And we... 7th of November. Let's see. We got a large minor LS leadership boost. And we are local military power. All of our infantry is moving into position. Down here in the south, we're taking land back from them damn Bolivians. Snowfall increases. I don't know if South America gets snow. Funny enough, I don't know if I've ever heard of the Gripen. Huh. Uh, got aircraft prototype evaluation. Government secretary. What did I really... More espionage. But yeah, that's the idea. So if we can get the rights, we'll build them here, and then in theory we learn about them. As you see here, this is all of... This is the collection of our... What we know. So naval... Naval theory? We know a lot of naval theory. Like, really a lot. But our practical experience is nothing. Like, actually, our, our theory is pretty good, all things considered. We just need to turn that into practical. Which we're slowly doing. Um, road networks need to be at the top. Alright. We'll go to the end of the year. We'll go to 44, and then we will uh, look at our technology. But yeah, that's what I love about this game, is just how deep it goes into everything. Especially with the Black Ice mod. What is the holdup here? We don't have a bad terrain bonus for attacking in the mountains. I mean, of course, you know, we've got actual mountain troops doing it, so that contributes a lot. Let's see. Infrastructure. Almost tempted to go after Paraguay. I mean, look at him, just sitting there all menacingly. How's our production going? Oh no, not bad. I I wonder what's more important though. Sub submarines, definitely, because like we're trying to keep these guys from getting supplied. And our submarine is doing some work up here. Like I don't think you were in here when I showed you this, Mud and Ho, but I mean, one enemy convoy, one enemy convoy. He had two and three others up here before. Oh. I don't know that flag.
There's one guy left. Just kick him out. There's no way in hell our bombers have the range. Yeah. And I'm not going to take the time to put some more... Uh, that coastal battleship almost looked like a carrier. And I was like, what the fuck? I didn't think I was that... I didn't think I didn't recognize that from last time. All right. So them guys, when they get in here, they're going to get attacked right away. What is that region infrastructure? Okay. There's no infrastructure there. <clears throat> but we'll repress that attack, which will backfire on that garrison. And we can sweep in and take French. I don't know what area this would be, I guess. Pushing them out of the mountains into the jungle. say. I hope I didn't put my mechanized in there. Okay, so they called off their attack as soon as we got in there. We're gonna press ours, because I mean, it's a garrison. If they can dig in, that's Ooh, they actually got some stuff in here. Second infantry semi-motorized Guardia de something. And one gear. Eesh. And it doesn't help we're crossing a river. I didn't want him. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's going to be dumb, but we're going to base our uh, our coastal battleships up here. What else do I got here? Just transports, yeah. Okay, we're going to hold back the attack until the battleships and hopefully these guys will be up here by then. Ooh, is there a airfield up around here? Okay. Oh, they tried attacking you here. Um, no airfield. We won this, though. So, everybody's gonna move in. We've got interceptors. This is the closest we can get with our uh, planes, which is very unfortunate. Now, I could put in a airfield here, but I don't know if it's going to be... I've got a lot of stuff I want to get done here. Okay, our mountain troops have made it in. With the exception of you, I think you pressed the attack. Everybody else is coming up behind. When these two mountain troops get in there, they will help support. Along with that. Really, this whole thing is just going to be a horrible slog until we can get uh, 
get ourselves mechanized. Which, I mean, slowly. Kind of getting there. So how the hell's Muddenhoe been? <clears throat> We're gonna go up one more time click, just because, I mean, everything is so slow. Okay, everybody else, you can help push up. And are mechanized. Hey, Phelamon. How you doing? They got 30% combined arms. 15, 15 are combined is 16. Let's get you, you, and you to help support. We don't need military access from Peru. We need... Okay, our cruisers made it up. Or our battleships. Well, that is kind of funny. I wasn't aware of any domestic Brazilian tank production. I knew they took a lot of old American ones and, like, customized the hell out of them, but... That was as far as I was aware that their tank production went, I guess. Blizzards. Uh, Japan lost the Kaga. Let's see, Kaga. I think would have been a carrier. I don't know. Without looking off the top of my head, I guess I'm not quite sure. Bolivia's kind of got some fucking hands, like. The hell? Have you support? Forty three. God, why are we not working on artillery? Yes, and yes. Yes. I mean, yes. There's so much stuff where, like, I kind of thought we were up on time with our stuff here, but apparently not. Like, how do I get... Oh, there's what I'm looking for. Wherever medium velocity gun is, that needs to go up bad. My god, we've got 97 projects going.
I don't know, at a certain point we might just have, like, we probably should just let things run their course here. No matter how good they'd be for us. Okay, everybody's in here. So, what we're gonna do is launch a full offense Yamashiro's Lost for Japan. Everybody move in. And move our ships out here. So, shore bombardment gives them a minus 22. God, they got dug in, though. And real good terrain, which I'm guessing the river crossing does not help at all. Yeah, that river crossing's brutal. I'm hoping we can force them out, though. I was gonna see any chance whatsoever my bombers might get up here. I didn't figure. About my fighters. Also did not figure. Industrial efficiency advance. Uh, industrial production advance. That's good. As a matter of fact, that technology or that production yeah, that should go back up again, too. Because we really need production. God, we're just kind of stalling out everywhere. Oh, God, they brought in another semi-motorized... I don't know, we definitely seem to be losing the initiative here. Okay, we're finally gonna break through here. We got our nose bloody in the process, but we're gonna break through there. Eh, I don't need military access from Peru. Where are they getting reinforcements from? Gonna move the goddamn battleships over and just blockade the port. I had one guy drop Yeah, no, we can't we can't keep up that attack at all. And they're just gonna keep poking us. Oh god, they brought in a lot of troops. We're, yeah, we're going to go blockade the port. Like, we're probably going to lose these battleships. <clears throat> but. Can I? We're going to convoy raid aggressively. Right in front of this port. I guess that's kind of... Okay, everybody move up. We won that. No, you know... God, I'm kind of dumb. Just patrol. Because, yeah, the troops don't come in on convoys. They come in on, like, actual transports. Dumb. 
So, we'll probably get a naval battle here at some point. Hopefully, we come out ahead. And the naval battle screen's kind of neat, so when I, when we get there, I'll have to show you. I was going to say, why doesn't this guy have an engineer, but I don't think I... National decision. National focuses. Quick economic boost. More IC for less money, or more, let's get more IC. We need more IC for less build speed. No, let's go for an army focus. We're going to build new armament factories. Get extra spies. Let's see. Let's wait for these guys to move up. And the U.S. goes into high-speed war production. God dang it, Bobby. Yeah, I don't think these guys can catch anybody. It's not looking good. Okay, everybody's up here. Let's attack with some... Damn it. Shift. Let's have you guys go in. What do we got here? Just, uh... Cavalry and an infantry. Yeah, I just, I don't think these guys are quick enough to, uh... Give me a level 5 airbase here. How bad is that going to set us back? Not too terrible. Then we're going to need to get some naval bombers. And hopefully they can turn the tide. How are you guys doing? Not fantastic by the looks of it. You know, I didn't think about this, but this is good. Like, they're moving so many people in here. Because... They'll just starve their themselves out of supplies. That's definitely a thing. Flotilla. Now, if I did some assault ships... Range is good... Right, no, this is no. That's visibility. That's transport capacity. I think there's a thing for shore bombardment. Yeah, so you want assault ships. That would cost a lot, but 